So, this is my sixth video in my series of instructional videos on how to use a Dobsonian telescope. And in this video, I want to show you how to actually set up the telescope. So the first thing we're going to talk about is collimation. And what collimation is, is it is lining up the mirrors so that they um, accurately project the light to your eyepiece. And if you have the, the mirrors not set up quite right, then you'll get a blurry view. And so it's very important. Now there are several ways to collimate your telescope, but I'm going to use a collimator. You can see here's the collimation tool right here. And it's got a laser, and it's got this little viewfinder. And what you want to do is you're going to put the, the collimator in the telescope like this. And if you look at your mirror in the bottom there, you can see there's a, a little circle in the middle. So the first thing you want to do when you collimate a la uh, telescope is get the laser right in the middle of that circle. So you can see in here that the laser isn't quite in the center of the circle. So what you can do is adjust these Phillips head screws in here and it will tilt the secondary mirror in just the right position so that the laser beam is in the center of the circle. So I'm going to try to do it just a little bit. That's a little bit better. There, that's right in the center. So that turned out to be really easy. So now the second part is where you get the, um, the, bot the primary mirror focused. You can see in the collimator right here, you can see the laser coming back and hitting this 45 degree disc inside the collimator. And what you want is you want to get that laser so it goes in the, exactly in the little hole where the laser is initially coming out of. And once you do that, once you see the laser kind of disappear, then you know you've collimated it. So what you want to do is um, loosen the locking knobs and then you, you adjust your you adjust the adjuster knobs until the laser is right in the middle and you can't see it basically. So once you've gotten once you can't see the, the laser, once it's going in a little hole, then you want to lock it down carefully. So if you lock it down unevenly, you'll put more stress on it. I find that the laser moves around a little bit as I'm tightening up the locking screws. And see it's moving a little bit as I tighten these up. There we go. So now it's um, the telescope is collimated. And so it takes a little bit of practice, but it's not too hard. And of course, you can probably find some good instructions um, on the internet to help you use a laser collimator as well. Different telescopes are different. Some need to be collimated more than others when you transfer or transport the telescope around. Oftentimes, you know, you'll bump it and it needs to be collimated. So I just put the laser in there and collimate it every time before I, I view and you get used to it, it's not too hard. Now, the second thing that you need to set up is the scope. And what you do with the scope is you pick an object in the distance. It could be a star that you know of or it could be another a light source somewhere far away. And you take the scope and you line up the telescope perfectly until you see the, the object that you've chosen in the very center of your scope. And you know this one has a crosshair, so I, I try to put it right in the center of the crosshairs. Or if you have a, a red dot finder scope, you'll want to put that red dot right on the object. And so then once you have that, the object or your scope aligned perfectly, then you want to look in your eyepiece. And you might have to focus it. And you want to move the object so it's exactly in the center of your eyepiece. And so then you know that your telescope is, is focused right on that, that mark. And then you want to come up here and look again in your finder scope. And probably when you've moved um, the object to the center of, of your eyepiece, probably it will have moved out slightly from your, your finder scope. So then you just want to adjust the adjusting screws on here to get the object back in the crosshairs. And so then once you have the object in the crosshairs or on the red dot of your finder scope and in the very center of your eyepiece then you have your telescope aligned. Now 
sometimes if I really want to align it well, I'll start out with a larger focal length, like a 30 millimeter eyepiece or a 20 millimeter eyepiece, and I'll get that centered up. And then I'll move on and I'll put like a 10 millimeter eyepiece or even smaller in there that has much higher magnification and I'll do the process again. I'll center it back up here and I'll, I'll notice that it's just slightly off here and then I'll, I'll make one more adjustment to the scope. And that ensures that when you put your scope onto an object in the sky that you're going to find that object in the center of your eyepiece. And it's very critical otherwise if you, if you don't have it aligned properly, then you might be searching around the sky forever trying to find the object. But if you align it properly, then it should be no problem to find the object. So, this is the last video of the more detailed instruction of the telescope. And I hope to make one more video about what an actual night viewing experience is like. How I get ready and get my telescope out there and set it up and start looking. And uh, so hopefully I'll make that video in the next couple days.